let us see a few old gate questions okay for example in this question a sustained three phase fault a sustained three phase fault occurs in the power system as shown in the given figure the current and voltage phasors during the fault and a common reference after the natural transients have died down are also shown where is the fault located okay so they have given the phasor okay in this phasor like you know the moment it's fault current okay fault current should be very much lagging one thing and magnitude of fault current should be more that's it no so for example if you see magnitude of i1 is more and i1 and v1 means almost lag by 90 degrees in the sense reactance so reactance so v1 i1 v1 i1 is going to be at fault q at operating point q fault is happening so this is going to be b okay now let us think of this problem three phase to ground fault takes place in the sense symmetrical fault at location f1 and f2 in the system shown in the given figure so here f1 and f2 faults are about to occur if the fault takes place at location 1 at location 1 okay then voltage and current at bus are vf1 and if1 respectively so vf1 and if1 here at a okay and if the fault takes place at the location f2 f2 is here then the voltage and current at bus a here are vf2 and if2 respectively the correct statement about the voltage and currents okay now we should have some fault impedance or not yes so for example fault impedance or fault reactance if you neglect what do you say resistance part okay so for example in this case if fault occurs here okay so if fault occurs here okay so my generator will give current in this direction my if1 is in this direction but my generator will give current in this direction okay so normally in an inductor if i think of voltage here current here in this direction so voltage here in this direction current here in this direction this is going to be voltage this is going to be current but voltage polarity current direction okay we need not go for lengthy lengthy solutions here okay so my if1 is in this direction now my generator is giving opposite direction current or not so 180 degrees so this is going to be if1 okay and this is going to be vf1 okay in the sense my vf1 my vf1 lags behind if1 problem solved now second thing is for example if it occurs at f2 if it occurs at f2 this generator will give fault current in this direction same as if1 this generator will give fault current in this direction across like you know z okay so fault impedance will be there so my current is same in the same direction so here for example here if i think of vf1 vf1 voltage so vf1 voltage so if1 normally should lag behind only okay so option is going to be vf1 leads if1 vf2 leads if2 no leads if1 no lags if1 okay so see here vf1 lags if1 fine and vf1 leads sorry this is two actually okay so vf2 leads if2 okay so vf2 leads if2 because current direction should be properly taken that's it okay now let us think of the third question in this third question five alternators each rated 5 mva 13.2 kv with 25 percent of reactance on its own base are connected in parallel okay so for example if i think of my five generators are connected in parallel to the bus three four five okay each having each having synchronous reactance or impedance of 0.25 per unit okay now what is z in across this at this point if you think of z in z in in this is ideal voltage source should be killed if i kill all these now 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 are connected in parallel or not yes so total z in is going to be how much 0.25 per unit by 5 5 equal rated resistors connected in parallel so that uh, each resistance divided by 5 that's it so this is going to be 0 0.05 per unit 
okay so already we know that what is fault current level equal to 1 by zth per unit so this is going to be 1 by 0 0.05 is going to be 20 per unit okay if fault current is nothing but mvasc also so the short circuit level in mva so mva short circuit is also as if already we have seen so this is going to be 20 per unit okay so 20 into what is the base mva 5 mva okay so mva of sc in mva only in mva only not in per units so per unit multiplied by base value so 20 into each are base is at base is at 5 so this is going to be 100 mva that's it simple problem okay so don't get scared in fault analysis small small questions only will come in this session, let us see three old gate questions, which are actually very simple, simple questions, but worth for six marks. Okay. Let us see in this question for the configuration shown in figure, the breaker connecting a large system to a bus two, breaker connecting a large system to bus two, this is going to be circuit breaker, is initially open. The system three phase fault level at bus three under this condition is not known. After closing the system circuit breaker, the three-phase fault level at bus 1 was found to be 5 per unit. What will be the new three-phase fault level if system bus 3, at system bus 3, after the interconnection, pre-fault voltage are assumed to be 1 per unit at all buses. Okay. So, let us try to draw, like, you know, single line diagram. In single line diagram, SLD generator is there. So, this is generator. And generator internal leakage or internal impedance and after that transformer will be there so transformer this is going to be bus 4 and after transformer this is going to be bus 1 and after that this is going to be transmission line so this is going to be 2 and this is going to be circuit breaker and this is going to be 3 and after that system is there so system in the sense system okay system in the sense it's generator now what is this value eg one per unit and xd 0.2 per unit and transmission line 0.2 per unit basically we need not uh, change like you know my per unit values because base voltage and base uh, what do you say kv or mva they did not give okay so this is 0.2 transmission and xl is 0.3 so xl is 0.3 per unit and we don't know about this okay now what did he say a three phase fault level at bus one was found to be five per unit so at bus one if fault occurs here okay it is found to be after closing the circuit breaker it is going to fault current is going to be five per unit okay so if fault current is 5 per unit let us calculate across this if i try to calculate z7 n z7 n across this 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.4 anyway like you know source will be killed z7 n thevenis theorem and 0 0.3 and this x okay so these two are connected in parallel okay so what is z7 n let us try to calculate in this condition let me write here z7 n equal to this section and this section are connected in parallel okay so that z7 is going to be means like you know when two resistors are connected in parallel r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so 0.4 into what is this 0.3 plus x divided by 0.4 plus 0.3 plus x 0.4 plus 0.3 plus x okay is going to be how much 1 by 5 per unit or not 5 per unit z7 n equal to r if value equal to 1 by z7 n or z7 n equal to 1 by 5 okay or 5 equal to 1 by z7 n okay so if you calculate this you are going to get x value of 0.1 okay now once x value of 0.1 in the second case so this is going to be 0.1 per unit now what they ask what will be the new three-phase fault level at system 
at bus 3 after interconnection pre fault voltage sir assume to be 1 per unit so new fault is occurring at bus 3 in the sense new fault is occurring at bus 3 okay means that what are the things which has to be connected in parallel z7 in 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 0 0.7 and this is going to point 0.1. So across this Z7 in equal to 0.7 and point 0.1. Point 0.7 in the new case is going to point 0.7 into point 0.1 divided by point 0.7 plus point 0.1 is going to point 0.8. Okay. So if I calculate Z7 in and Z7 in inverse is going to be fault current level. So new fault current level if fault occurs at bus 3 is going to be means 1 by ZTH dash is going to be 11.428 per unit. Okay. Now let us think of second problem. Okay. In second problem, actually second and third problem are common data questions. In this, two generators. Okay. So two generator units G1 and G2 are connected by 15 kV line with A bus at midpoint as shown in figure. G1, 250 MVA, 15 KV, positive sequence reactants, okay, X equal to 25%. So, and Z2, they have given 100 MVA, positive sequence reactants, they have given L1 and L2, 10 kilometers, positive sequence reactants, 0.225 ohm per kilometer. For the ABU system, the positive sequence diagram with the per unit on the 100 MVA common basis, okay. One thing, let me tell you, positive sequence in the sense, normal network only. Okay, so of course negative sequence, zero sequence networks will vary. We will see at later point of time. Okay, positive sequence is nothing but normal sequence only. Okay, so see here, this is going to be generator. Okay, now for the Yabu system, the positive sequence diagram with per unit values on 100 MVA common basis. 100 MVA common basis. Okay, now we know that like you know impedance is directly proportional in per unit, impedance is directly proportional to MVA. For example, what is Z per unit? is going to be z into mva base by kv base square okay so z per unit directly proportional to mva or not yes for example z1 if you see g1 250 mva okay and we got some reactance for 250 mva reactance is 0.25 percent or uh, 0.25 per unit at 25 percent for 100 mva base it should be reduced or not yes how much it should be reduced 0.25 into 100 divided by 250 100 divided by 250 is the reduction so this is going to be 0 0.25 into 100 divided by 250 okay so is going to be 0 0.1 per unit okay so this is going to be 0 0.1 this is going to be 0 0.1 okay so this is going to be 0 0.1 now let us think of 1 to 3 3 to 2 okay l1 and l2 okay what is the reactance value that reactance value they have given 0.225 ohm per kilometer so what is the length here 10 kilometer so what is the reactance value is going to be 0.225 ohm per kilometer into 10 kilometers is going to be total okay into mva base by kv base square is going to be z per unit so into mva base is 100 MVA divided by KV base square is actually transformers are not given. Okay. So if transformers are given and LV side, LV side voltage should be taken as base value or reference value and HV side, HV side voltage should be taken. But did they give any transformers here? No. Okay. So in that condition, 15 KV only the base value, 15 square. Okay. Is going to be L1 and L2. Okay, so it's going to be X L1 or L2 because L1 and L2 are same distance. So this will come around 1 per unit. Okay, so this is going to be 1 per unit. This is going to be 1 per unit. Now, for the, uh, like, you know, G2, G2, 100 MV only. For 100 MV, we got 10% or 0 0.1 per unit. So what is the base value of MV 100 only? So same 0 0.1. Problem solved. Okay, now let us see the extended one. The extended one, of course, common data question. In the Yabu system, three phase fault MVA at bus 3 is in the sense at bus 3. At bus 3. So, in the middle of the transmission line, at bus 3, fault occurs here. Okay, what is the fault MVA they are asking? 
okay so if fault mva in the sense already we know that mv of short circuit is nothing but 1 by z7n so what is z7n this and this will be shorted in calculating z7n 1.1 1.1 connected in parallel so z7n is going to be 1.1 by 2 is going to be 0.55 okay so 1 by z7n is going to be mva of short circuit in per unit equal to 1 by z7 in per unit so it's going to be 1 by 0.55 okay so this is going to be 1.81818 like that in per unit okay so what is the mva of short circuit the actual value means per unit is nothing but actual by base so per unit multiplied by base will give you actual so what is per unit here 1.81818 into 100 mva is the base value is going to be 181.818 181.82 will be the answer okay 